Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is dropping, Tesla is crashing almost 5% right now, but uh, we have good reasons to believe that Tesla will react from here. It is already reacting. I do not believe that's the end of the world. I believe that's a very good opportunity to buy the dip. But let's do it wisely and in a reasonable way, okay? So in this video, I will explain to you guys how do you buy the dip wisely. So stick until the end because this video is gonna be very good. If you are already my subscriber, remember to click on the like button. If you are not my subscriber yet, I advise you to subscribe because I firmly believe you're going to like this video. Let's take a quick look at Tesla's charts for one second. Tesla is doing a very good reaction right now. This is called bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, okay? It is a classic bullish reversal pattern. Statistically speaking, it reverses 60% of the time. However, when we are near a support level, these chances increases dramatically and yes we are near a support level 854 dollars that's our main support level right now i mean it was a secondary support level i was not looking at it that carefully but uh, it is working nicely right now so let's stick with it uh, we retested this support level one two three times today and now we see a bullish reaction that's very good why the $854 is our support level, you might be asking. That's a very good question. Look in the daily chart. In the daily chart, we see that this support level was what hold the price in Tesla in October 21. See how the price is struggling at this area over here. Right now, it's struggling again today. Remember guys, the market has memory. The price will always tells us how, how Tesla can actually behave from here. That's how price action works. That's why we use technical analysis as a main tool for us to understand the market, to understand the smart money, the other players, and to do our own plays, okay? The te again, guys, te technical analysis is great because we can actually understand how the market is moving, but most important of all, we can actually uh, assess the risk reward ratio accordingly to our own risk tolerance. That's how we use TA wisely and that's how we buy the dips wisely. See, we have a good reaction in the one hour chart. We have a very good candlestick in the daily chart as well. This is almost a dragonfly doji, which is again another bullish reversal candlestick pattern which is occurring just after we retested the previous support level. Maybe the, the day is not over yet, but maybe we're gonna close at a doji, maybe we're gonna close doing a hammer, maybe we're gonna close doing a spinning bottom candlestick pattern. I don't know, that's not important. The most important thing of all is if we close above the $900, that's gonna be perfect. That's gonna be simply amazing. But what if we don't? What if we close below the $900? Then we gotta wait for a better reaction, meaning we gotta wait for today's high breakout, okay? If tomorrow we break today's high, then okay, we are probably gonna trigger whatever candlestick kind of pattern is going to occur over here. Maybe it's gonna be a hammer, maybe it's gonna be a doji, maybe it's gonna be a spinning bottom, it doesn't matter. If we break today's high tomorrow, I believe it's gonna trigger another bullish structure in the daily chart. What's even more interesting is that in the one hour chart, we see this bullish engulfing and we can see clearly a gap over here. This gap might be an exhaustion gap. Why? Because this gap occurred after a very strong and sharp bearish movement. If this gap occurred over here, all right, it is probably a breakaway gap or a runaway gap. Probably the, bear tr the bull trend is going to reverse. Probably the bearish momentum will continue. However, we are doing this gap near support levels. So this, this doesn't make too much sense. To me, it seems Tesla is just following the indices. It's dropping because of the indices. But since Tesla is still a very solid, strong and good company, and we're gonna report earnings this week, I believe, right? This says, uh, here it says 
January 26. I don't know if this data is correct. You tell me, guys, maybe I am wrong. Maybe TradingView's data is wrong. I'm not sure if we're gonna report earnings this week. If we actually reverse, I believe Tesla will perform amazingly well, much, much better than the Nasdaq, and it's gonna close way, I believe it's gonna, not way above, but near the $1,000 again all right because that's our main resistance from here i don't believe this blue line is going to be a resistance anymore but i believe the 995 dollars the 1k area roughly this area over here is going to be a very strong resistance for us and a potential target for us in another if it actually confirms another bullish leg okay we are almost triggering this bullish engulfing candlestick pattern in the one hour chart we are almost doing a very good bullish candlestick pattern in the daily chart. If you look in the weekly chart, if this week we actually close above this black line, then all right, that's a very strong support level indeed. Probably, probably Tesla will continue going up in the next few weeks, but in the short and mid term, which is the most challenging, uh, which is the most challenging time frame for us to work with right now. I believe we must close above the 900s today. If not, we must break today's high tomorrow. Then we're gonna see Tesla closing in a green week, meaning at least we're gonna close above $940, which is Friday's close. And I do believe we have very decent chances of doing that. Why? Let me look at you guys for one second. Because as I told you guys in our last video, Friday, which I really recommend you guys watching it, I told you guys we have 70% chances of closing on green territory this week. Literally seven, uh, literally 70% chances. That's very good and high chances. And uh, this today, this Monday, we are dropping. All right, that's not a problem. We still have four more days. That's an eternity for Tesla. We have plenty of time to react. We are already reacting right now. I think that's the beginning of the next bullish movement in Tesla. But uh, guys, how, how can you actually buy the deep? Guys, we use, that's why we use TA. That's why we use price action. We use, we use these tools as a way to assess the risk management. Guys, let's look again at the charts over here for one second. Let's pretend you are the smart money. You are an institutional player uh, and, uh, and you have to make a decision. You gotta trade Tesla, okay? You got to trade it. Okay, but what are you gonna do? Are you going to short it? Are you going to bet it's going to drop even more? We just retested this support level over here. We have another support level at 900s, and clearly Tesla has good chances of breaking the support level upwards again. We have an exhaustion gap. We have the markets panicking over here. We have earnings report this week. Are you actually willing on taking a bet on the short side right now? I mean, right now, I think it is too damn late, okay? If you, if you want to short test over here, you're going to have another support level here. Where would be your stop loss above today's high? I don't like this scenario, okay? I do not like this scenario. For a short trade to actually make sense over here, you would have to aim for a way, way lower target. And if that's realistic or not, I don't know, it is up to you. In my humble opinion, it is not. I believe it's much more realistic to wait for bullish confirmation in Tesla and trade on the long side. For instance, if Tesla tomorrow, let's, let's say today it is closing under the 900s. All right, that's okay, it's not a buy. But let's say tomorrow or on Wednesday, we break today's high. Your stop loss will be, must be above today's low, which is near the support level, all right? And where would be your target? We have a target at 11.15s. I think it's reasonable to believe Tesla is going to retest this point again. We have a resistance, of course, we have a resistance at around the 1K area over here. But if actually, if Tesla actually reverses, if we see a reversal movement, we have good chances of breaking this resistance level because Tesla is looking pretty cheap right now. The indices are dropping sharply and uh, I'm gonna record a video on the indices today, okay? I really recommend you guys watching this video because I think it's gonna make much more sense for you guys, especially if you 
I know that I know that my audience, mo most of you guys like to only look at Tesla, but it is very important to analyze the macro scenario, and this will reinforce our bullish thesis in Tesla. So I really recommend watching my another video today on the indices. It's gonna be very very good, and uh, if you see a reversal, Tesla could easily break the 1K area because in the weekly chart we are near support level. We don't have any other resistances. Res resistances. We could even retest the 1208 again. But uh, let's aim around the 1115s. Okay, that's. I believe it is a crystal clear technical target. All right, it is the next resistance for us to work with. Aside from the 1K, which is more a symbolic resistance, the 1115s is a technical resistance for us to work with. So, yeah, I would work with this scenario. Of course, it's gonna take a few weeks or even months for Tesla to retest this resistance over here. Yes, I'm not expecting it's gonna be fast, but I do expect a bullish reversal pattern and I expect another bullish leg on it for the next few weeks, all right? And that's that's how we buy the deep. We use risk management, we use statistics, we use data in our favor, we use patterns in our favor, and we set targets, all right? so. Let's not buy only because it is dropping. Let me look at you guys for one second. I see many people buying only because it is dropping. This makes sense if you are a holder, all right? Okay, I'm just a holder. I don't care about the short-term fluctuations and I will just buy because it is dropping because it's cheaper, or, all right? So, okay, if, if you are in this position, all right, do it. However, I believe we can optimize your strategy by doing the proper technical analysis, by doing the technical uh, study, by analyzing the price action and looking at crystal clear reversal points, doing the proper risk management and waiting for a reaction. Again, that's the main difference between traders and gamblers. True speculators, true traders are going to wait for confirmation, they are going to use the odds in their favor, while gamblers are gonna trade only because they think it is the time to buy and to sell, they don't have any technical, statistical reason to support their arguments. So here in this channel, we will always try to be reasonable, okay? I will never entice panic or I will never hype you guys on anything over here, I will just share my own thoughts and insights as a retail trader that I am, okay? I'm just a guy, I'm just a retail trader like you. I am not an expert, I'm not a guru. I hate these labels, I don't like them, and uh, you, you guys know me, all right? I am just a simple, ordinary guy sharing my thoughts here in this channel. And if my insights helped you, remember to click on the like button and to subscribe to this channel because, again, I think our content is pretty good. Are you still watching this? Well, you like it, this video because well, you wouldn't waste your time if you didn't. And uh, this video is almost over. Thank you very much for your support, my friends. Stay safe. Farewell.